bribed my students on good behavior this week because it's crazy the day and week before spring break and they were great so we get pajama day so i got my oops siri is talking on my apple watcher but i got my wifey sweatshirt and my bailey and moose pants where are my babies Moosey girls, like, they look great. Bailey's, they just got haircuts. Golden Retriever time is horrible right now. It's spring. Oh, my God, it looks so freaking cute in their little sunflowers. But we are going to go. We are survival, survival weeks. I'm so excited. Getting a episode bath today at Float 41 in West Hartford. Um, and we finished cardio. We finished my lift. And I finally got a freaking great pump. Great pump. Yesterday we had 190 carbs and it went straight to the glutes. Straight to the freaking glutes. Um, where after I checked in with coach this morning, I just sent him another text. I'm like, just had a workout. My glutes look great. So we are about to survive. Teaching time. No, that's the one thing they don't talk about. They do not talk about how I feel like a lot of bodybuilders are like personal trainers, coaches, things like that in the industry. Shout out to all the people who are bodybuilders that have normal, regular jobs. It is freaking tough teaching little first graders, America's youth, when you are hangry, deprived, depleted, exhausted, and have to put a smile on your face and fake it so you make it. But we make it. Made it. We made it. What is up, YouTube? We survived work today. We survived. So now I literally do not go back to work until like, I don't know, like April 12th or something. I got like 10 days. So your girl just came home, let the pups out, and now I am headed to my float 41 session. Um, it's an hour and a half. Last time I did an hour and a half and I could not sit still that long. So I'm probably going to only be there for an hour, but I'm ready to relax. I need to learn to turn my brain off um, and really just take in the R&R &R time. Um, but I'm really excited. So if you've never been to one of these salt pods, basically, um, so the one I went in last time was like a two person person one and I'm literally five foot so tiny. And so it was like, you open the door, you go in. I haven't done like the pod one yet where you open a pod and sit in it. I'm kind of claustrophobic, so I don't know if, if I have that again, if I'm going to do well with it. So we shall see. But you turn the lights, you can have like lights, like kind of colorful lights or completely dark. Um, and then they have like silence or they have like medium sized music and then like or like lower music of like classical relaxation like massage music but they say like the people that go there religiously they sit in the dark and they have music off and they feel like they're just you're just floating because it's like this much water but you're floating on top of it um because it's literally so much salt um so yeah so about to go do that then coming home shaving time my whole entire body if you're unaware of bodybuilding you literally have to shave every nook and cranny armpit arm hair back hair chest hair you know because i got a lot of chest hair here um but everything has to go so that your tan is ready to go um and so tanning's tomorrow so here we go <laughs> Six twenty in the morning and your girl slept until like 5 50 this morning which is two hours later so i'm feeling very well rested um i also took cbd last night i usually i usually almost always do but i haven't recently because i've been so tired and exhausted that i could just naturally fall asleep but your girl's brain is going 500 billion miles per hour because i'm just so excited and nervous and can't believe that tomorrow is show day 
Um, so today we are doing a full glute pump, lightweight, but really trying to make sure that all the food that we are eating is going straight to the glutes. Because my upper body um, definitely is more muscular proportion wise um, and holds, can easily pump up, but even when it's not pumped up, you can still see the definition of it. Um, so got my little pancakes. It's a mixture of Kodiak cakes, uh, cake batter, egg whites, from Muscle Egg, and then my Simply One vegan protein, uh, and of course, peanut butter on top. I love putting peanut butter on when the pancakes are freaking hot, because then it melts. So getting my coffee in, getting my burn in, and then we are gonna go hit a glute workout. But today I did drop another new low, uh, so 102.3, even after two high 190 carb days. So I'm, not, I'm assuming we're going to even up even more so today's protocol every day i've had like a number that i'm supposed to hit but i check in daily with my coach today it's been like a range because the day before show like you didn't want to give me a specific number so just sent it to him let's go to the gym hopefully i get it soon because i do need to head to new jersey at like 10 a.m ish i need to leave so i want to make sure i pack enough food and stuff with me too so today is going to be an adventure So we just got back from the gym, did a little glute pump, a little light upper body work, and just got back from coach that we are bumping it up to 230 carbs, 65 fat. And it's so freaking crazy to me because I never hit over 200 carbs in my like improvement season. So we are filling me out. So about to leave for New Jersey in like an two hour, eh, about like an hour and a half. It's a two hour drive. Um, but we wanna make sure that we are prepared and bringing enough food with me. Um, so I'm not stressed about it. Nick's meeting me later tonight. So if anything, he can always bring me some extra stuff or I can run to a grocery store nearby or something like that. Cause I definitely will have some time to kill. Um, but. We gotta go prep, we gotta go plan, we gotta go make sure we have enough thing. Go about to eat a big old bowl of chicken, rice, and peanut butter, because you know it's my fucking favorite. Um, but ah, I've been screaming all week and I'm so excited. I'm like beyond excited. I'm excited to eat. I'm excited to eat some dang food. So I've been hiding my post show treats. So the one thing about my post show treats in my second basement, you can't even see it, is that they are protein based. So I got a cinnamon bun. I got this like s'mores cookie thing. These are from the company Good Eats, I believe. S'mores. And I got this s'mores cookie, not the beer. Um, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna bring like three of them with me so I'm not overdoing it. Um, yeah, but I've been hiding these. And I wanted to still stay on track because again, 
if I get first or second get nationally qualified, I will be competing in nationals in about already like five weeks or four weeks. So I wanted to make sure that we are staying on track still. So what they don't tell you is how much crap you need for show day. So I have a big suitcase full of stuff. I have a little suitcase, which is like my show day suitcase. This has my suit, my weights. I bring like 10 pound weights to help pump because I'm someone that really needs to make sure I have a good pump. Um, I have cups to pee in. I have my jewelry. I have a towel for the floor. I have some Gatorade, some snacks, things like that. Already in my car, I have a huge lunch box full of my rice and my chicken and my rice cakes and my pickles and more Gatorade. I then have a bag of other stuff in there too. Um, and show day is just a lot in my big bag. And I might do a like open up the suitcase once I'm down in Jersey. I have sheets because you'll be tan and you'll ruin sheets and hotels will charge you. I have sheets. I have normal clothes. Um, I have workout clothes, I have pajamas, I have um, everything I need to get ready, like straightener and a curling iron, I have makeup, I have contacts. I'm also bringing me as a scale. Oh my God, thank God I said that because I almost forgot my food scale. Oh, that was so bad. I'm bringing my actual scale, so I can see how much I weigh tonight and tomorrow morning, and I'm bringing a ring light so I can do good check-in photos. It's just a lot. It is absolutely a lot for someone that is literally today's Friday and I come back Sunday. It's a lot of stuff. So I'm just driving to Jersey right now. I have so many liquids next to me because we upped my liquid intake even more because I was so thirsty yesterday because my sodium intake is higher. So I have a coffee, flavored water, I have a Gatorade Zero, and then I have a huge jug that's 84 ounces that has some BCAAs in it. Um, honestly, BCAAs, they have amino acids in it. They really don't do much for you. The reason why I've been taking BCAAs for the last like two weeks is because it has sodium in it, and it's an easy way to increase my sodium intake rather than just drink pickle juice, which I do on a regular <laughs> anyway. Um, but I just wanted to film right now because, don't worry, my eyes are on the road, phone is attached, um, because I am very much in my emotions right now, and I just wanted to kind of document this. I don't think people realize how much is sacrificed and goes into bodybuilding. I know I'm not saying this as, like, for people to be like, Sam, I feel so bad for you. Or Sam, you're such a badass for all the sacrifices. It's just like knowledge wise is this sport is way more than just show day. It's way more than just looking beautiful on stage. It's something that's way more than just the 24 weeks of prep that I did too. Um, I am super emotional this show more than my last two because this is three plus years in the making. Um, I've wanted to be a bodybuilder for over 10 years now and there were so many years that I said no or didn't do it. I've been an athlete literally since I've been two or three years old. I played a division one in college. I've played sports. I've been competitive. I've been an athlete. Literally my main identity is an athlete. But nothing's like bodybuilding. When it comes to bodybuilding, you don't have teammates that are relying on you to, for you to do your best. You're not showing up to practice and talking to people and being motivated by others' worth ethics. Like, this is such a lonely sport. And yes, I'm part of Team Purpose League, and yes, I have teammates, but like, none of them go to my gym. It's me waking up at 3.30 in the morning. It's me going on cardio for an hour. It's me spending Sundays an hour, two hours meal prepping. It's me planning out when I can fit a workout into it, right? So when it comes to show day, it is so emotional because it's three years since I hired my coach, Steven, that we've worked for this physique. The first time I competed was amazing. I honestly did very well for a new competitor. 
but it's this physique that I am bringing to stage tomorrow that I know truly identifies that I am a bodybuilder. And I'm proud to say that because I was talking to Steven, my coach today, and I was like, this prep, it had its rough points, but overall was easier for a lot of different reasons mentally because I'm just so invested into this season. I really want to do well. I really want to go to nationals. I really want to be competitive and potentially get my pro card um, or even just be competitive on nationals. But like, for example, guys, I'm eating 230 carbs today and 65 fat. What? Last time, the day before the show, I was eating 130 and we are grinding it out in super high cardio and super low carbs for the longest time. And I've had multiple refeeds this one. I My carbs have been up higher in general. My cardio has been lower in general. And it's because my year and a half, two years in my off improvement season, I fucking did it right. I did it right. I had my coach the whole entire time. I did weekly check-ins my coach, even in my improvement season. I had my macros there. I worked hard. I lifted heavy. I built legitimate muscle. And my tip for anyone that is a bodybuilder or planning to be bodybuilding is this isn't just, you're not just a bodybuilder during prep. You are a bodybuilder your whole entire life that you choose to do this. And you're in season and you're out of season. Like your life decisions revolve around it. In my improvement season, did I have ice cream? Did I have date nights? Did I have cheat meals? Did I think of this? Fuck yeah, I did. But that was once a week where literally one date night crazy thing a week is not going to offset the fact that every single freaking day, even on my cheat day, I am lifting heavy as fuck. And when I would go out for a big dinner at my favorite Mexican restaurant, Acapulco's, have margaritas, better bet your ass the next day, we lived in heavy leg day, straight to the glutes, right? So tomorrow, I have high expectations for myself. I'm not going to lie. I'm just being so blunt and honest. I have high expectations for myself. But I am freaking excited. I am so proud. I worked so freaking hard for this, guys. I worked hard and you can too. And so anyone that's going through prep or an improvement season and they want to rush their improved season and get onto the show, think about what are you doing today? What are your goals? And what's going to help you be the absolute best version of yourself? So we officially got into the hotel. Literally, this is my hotel, and this is the venue. So I have a little crosswalk that I all have to freaking do, but this is like prime lighting for my check-ins that everyone's gonna be able to see my butt. <laughs> That's okay. But we're in the corner room, so actually, we're in the corner room, so there's actually like huge windows right there. So I'm thinking about propping that, doing some videos, um, some posing and stuff, but Woo, I just barfed down. Wow, barf, that's not right. I just threw back 200 grams of rice and two ounces of chicken. My lower gut is like, whoa. I need to chug some water and get that digestion flowing for that, but we're still feeling pretty good. I am so pumped about this venue, guys. Like, again, this is not national, so it's not a big, like a huge shabam. But my first competition was in New Haven, Connecticut. And it was definitely, it was in like a theater, but this one looks legit. I mean, they have New York Pro. They know the person's like, hey, are you here for the Bible competition? Like, they know they gave me a four and be like, tanning oil. Like, they just know that my voice open, I'm going to use it, because you know, my way in my room. That's fridge. And look at this. You ready? I thought of lighting, hold on. Look at all those chickens. I think I'm way too funny. But I have my tanning. It's like 
the, I'm doing getting it done by a person, not by the venue. I just like it a lot better. And what, at the day of the show, they specifically make sure that you're okay. Um, so I'm getting that done. She was about 25 minutes away. I'm gonna give myself some time because she lives, so I'm in Teaneck, New Jersey. She lives in the Bronx, which is literally 25 minutes away, but with traffic right now, um, just make sure I get myself enough time. Not stress, we're not trying to stress. Um, I'm gonna charge my phone. And I'm going to lay out my sheets. They gave us two beds instead. So Nick gets a bed and I get a bed, especially for tonight. I wanna make sure that my tan is so this is my makeshift bed. <laughs> got my sheet. Got a little blanket. You don't want to sweat either. <laughs> and I made a t-shirt and I tied it up so that I can use a pillow. <laughs> hey guys, it's candy time. Last time that you see me as not in a pillow box. See ya. What is up guys? So I got back from my tan. So when you get your tan, they don't do your face, the makeup's there. Your girl's feeling pretty full. Um, after eating at around like two or two-ish, I had 200 grams of rice and two ounces of chicken. And I definitely have like my lower gut. It's like, ugh. Um, but I just had four rice cakes and now I'm about to kind of just make sure I eat all my stuff before. I always like to finish eating before like 8.30 or 9. So I need to do another thing of rice and chicken and peanut butter and then some protein powder, peanut butter. Um, and I might just kind of have it all together and just bang it out um, so that I have optimal time for digestion. And now every time I pee, I need to use a pee cup. So if you don't know, you literally can't sit on a fucking toilet when you get a tan because you're tan will go on the toilet and you'll lose it on your butt and you'll get marks all over. So you learn to pee in a cup and dump it. That's where we're at. So we got the base tan. It got a little messed up here, but she's coming to my room tomorrow at 11 to uh, fix it. So that will be helpful. But about to straighten my hair. Tomorrow we're actually going to cur do like wave and curls, but I like to like straighten beforehand. But I'm gonna sign off for tonight, guys. I am exhausted. I need to eat some food. And then tomorrow it's 4.50 a.m. Wake up, eat food, pump, go get my makeup done. See you then. <laughs> Girl freaking forgot is her winter coat and I'm freezing. I've been beyond cold for the last like 24 hours. Walking to my car because that's my hotel, but the fucking parking's all over here. The girl's nips can break ice right now. Damn. Hey, right, we got here. Let's go get our makeup done and find some coffee. So we just got the makeup did. I had a boulder lip, but I wiped it off because it was way a little bit too much, but everything else was amazing. Literally in and out of 40 minutes, not even, I, around 40 minutes. Um, but the look came together, babes. Hair did by me, makeup done. I will tag her Instagram down below, but now it's chill time. Check-ins for athletes is until eight. Um, so I'll ride around eight and then I'm literally going back into my hotel room to chill. Um, that's what's things really nice. My hotel room is literally across the street from the venue, a one minute walk. Um, and so my tanning girl is going to come in at 11 to put on another layer, glaze me up. And then I'll probably hang out in the back of the venue. Um, 
just anxiety wise i don't want to like wait like let's say they do bikini early or something because it's a smaller show um i just like to be where i need to be like i showed to my makeup appointment 30 minutes early like less stress the better babes um but we are fucking here we are here we're ready to arrive your girl ate 230 carbs yesterday and it filled me out in all the right places and i'm feeling like a little lean bean um so i'm gonna make sure to eat my food drink my sodium and get after it but we're here <laughs> got back from backstage and your girls foot center for open a and novice a uh, it was pretty awesome so novice a i did my routine and then the other girls already did it so they all got pulled out and right away the judge was like 77 which is my number and i split right into the middle and then for open a i was in the middle to start with and then he moved like one or two girls around um and we were there so we're going back at 5 p.m and we will see. We will see. If I win my height class, then I will be competing in the overall, which is number one of each height class to try to get the overall for the show. So catch on the flip side. So Coach and I were planning out when our meals are, so I've been eating every three hours. So I just had a meal like 40 minutes ago and we just added two more rice cakes to that so that we can make sure that we are filling out because as of right now, I will be eating like two hours before I go to stage. So we're going to give me a little more carbs right now and I'm about to go hit a quick full body uh, pop at the gym, do a 10 minute walk to make sure the addition stays on point and that all the extra carbs I'm eating are going straight to the muscles for hopefully for the overall. Party for seven. <laughs>